Green Ass 11.1 U7 has been released. Actually, it was released on January 24th, 2019. Um, I just took a few days before I got a chance to do a video on it. There's a lot of patches and a lot of fixes in here. Now, please note, 11.2 is the official stable release series for FreeNAS, and my production machines have been moved to 11.2, but I do maintain one of them at 11.1. One, so I can test, and two, because I have some clients uh, or people that reach out to me that haven't moved from 11.1 to 11.2. Now, the primary reason for not moving is either A, they just don't like the interface for whatever reason, or people some people don't like change. I'm personally really enjoy the new interface to FreeNAS. I think this looks a lot better and the menus are more in a, laid out in a way that I find more reasonable compared to this dual confusing menu system. Um, they did a great job with what they had when this one, but I like the 11.2 series much better for that. The other reason is IO Cage is the new jail system and the old jail system was referred to as Warden. Uh, they're deprecating it so there are compatibility issues and some people have maybe spent some time creating those jails and you have to transition them over to io cage and they're not ready to take the time to do that or learn the changes that are involved with that and with the new plugin system that being said you still should be updating because these are all security updates you're not doing any more feature releases for the 11 one but for now they are still releasing security updates and there's a long list of them here i'll leave a link to it as well uh, so you can see all these. Now, there's a lot of little things going on here, but uh, one of the bigger ones is fixing all the multiple CVEs for Samba. This is an important reason. Now, I know these, a lot of people may be saying, well, Samba's not generally exposed to the internet, and I really hope you don't have your Samba exposed to the internet, but from a security threat model, you always assume the attackers are on the inside. Um, so you always plan for it based on that so that they're, you're mitigating against the worst case scenario, not just, well, I don't have to do anything because, you know, it's on the inside of my network and I keep people off the inside of my network. Well, it's really important that you patch these. There's a few NFS bugs, but the Samba one stood out to me. Um, there's, It's a handful of little quirky things. It's not like there's a major zero day. It's a lot of it more in the way it's a uh, bad password count in AD, uh, Samba ADDC, Crash and experimental uh, Kerberos configuration and null pointer dereference in Samba. Uh, once again, Active Directory, Domain Controller, DNS Service. So there's a lot of them if you have your Samba tied to that. And this is something that's common use for FreeNAS is tying it to an Active Directory server in a larger environment and it acts as the main storage server for that. So it is important that you get this updated. Um, I've had a few people tell me their box is updated fine, mine updated perfectly fine, and everything seems to work perfectly well in it. Haven't had any issues since the update. Uh, but, you know, I just wanted to let people know it's out here. They are still releasing patches and security fixes for use of the 11.1 series, but you really should consider getting over to the 11.2 uh, because that is a stable release, and it will become a point where they quit patching it. They've already stopped patching the 9 series has been reached into life. So there's not any new releases on their roadmap for nine. So just want to throw that out there. Go ahead and download the patch. Uh, have a backup as always before, just in case anything went wrong. Because the time you find out when you have a uh, drive that won't restart is after you restart it. And uh, so sometimes the failures aren't necessarily because of the update. It's just because, well, the machine had an uptime of whenever the last update was. <laughs> uh, so always have backups, always be prepared for that. But generally speaking, I haven't found any issues from running this update. It worked fine on my machine. Hopefully it works fine on yours. I looked in some of the forums. And I didn't notice nothing jumped out at me immediately for any major uh, notification or issues with this update. So go ahead and get patching and uh, still work on your transition to the new stable series of 11.2. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to this channel to see more content, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, and maybe YouTube will send you a notice when we post. If you want to hire us for a project that you've seen or discussed in this video, head over to lawrencesystems.com where we offer both uh, business IT services and consulting services and are excited to help you with whatever project you want to throw at us. Also, if you want to carry on the discussion further, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can keep the conversation going. And if you want to help the channel out in other ways, we offer affiliate links below which offer discounts for you and a small cut for us that does help fund this channel. And once again, thanks again for watching this video and see you on next time.